Hi guys, this is Michael Burke here. Ted Carey. And Francesco Lapoy. And to start off, we are building a state machine on Cordis. Uh, and as you can see here, we are going to be titling this file State Machine. Uh, yeah. And so that's what's going on right now. We are now setting up the uh, correct software on Cordis uh, to begin our state machine schematic. Okay, we are now going to go up to File, New, and select State Machine for the schematic. And now we go to the input and we double click and we're going to be putting in four states and these states will be named state zero, state one, state two, and state three. Once you click the name, remember to click enter and then after that, click okay. Alrighty, so now we are going to be drawing arrows on the state machine, uh, and these arrows are going to be going from each of the states. Make sure that the arrows are pointed in the right direction depending on what state machine you are building. Okay, so next you put in your inputs in the state machine, and you in this state machine we are only using X. Uh, and when you go to label your, uh, val your input values on the state machine, on the arrows, you either can use x or tilde x. x, the value represents 1, and tilde x, the value represents zero, uh, 0. OK, so now we are going to be inputting the VHDL file before we uh, run the state machine. Alrighty, so after it is done compiling, we will then go to model sim and we will run the waveform. And now we're going to be going to our taskbar and just searching model sim to uh, start the waveform. All right, so once you open Model Sim, you're going to want to go to, in the upper left corner, you're going to want to hit New. File, New, and then Project. And then you, you can name it the same thing that you named your Cordis file. We named our state machine. Just got a little hung up on the spelling. And then you hit add file to project and you're gonna wanna add your Cordis files. So once you find those, you're just going to want to slap them in there. All 
All right, so now you see our quarters files in there. You're going to want to compile them. OK, so now once you compile it, you're going to want to hit Simulate, Work, and then look for your Quartus files. And you're going to want to highlight them. You can see it in the right-hand side. You highlight them, and then you right-click, Add Wave. And now this is your waveform. So on your waveform, you're going to want to make sure that you have um, Reset first and then Clock second. Right click clock, select clock, and make sure that is falling. So for your input, you're going to want to select it, and then right click it, select force, and then you're going to want to enter your input. This will be either be 1 or 0, depending on the x or tilde x on the schematic. So now when you hit run, you will see the first stage of your waveform. First it'll start at zero, and then your second stage will be whatever you selected your input as. So when you change the force of the input, it'll change the direction of the circulation of the state machine.